YB stays on your neck. <laughs> that Wilder Fury 2 seems to be in sign and also a view to a third fight. What's kind of the in impact of that towards the, the heavyweight landscape? It's not allowed because there's going to be a serious legal position for Dillian White if that's the case. Because Dillian White is fighting Oscar Rivas. That's for the interim world title and, and with... Has that been confirmed? The interim title has yeah. and the mandatory position. But we want it next and there will be a serious situation. So that's been confirmed. Sorry, when did... Yo, my dons, make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe and obviously hit the bell for notifications. So we just heard there from Eddie, cover up Hearn, speaking on behalf of Dylan, the hater, White. Now, as you know, your boy YB assesses things on a case-by-case -case basis. Can Deontay Wilder be right sometimes? Absolutely. Can Dylan White be right sometimes? Absolutely. But on the whole, they're both hating ass dudes. But for this particular one, I have to side with Dylan, the hater White, because the bottom line is all these, it's crazy what's going on now. In reaction to Eddie Hearn's comments, Boxing Ego, Cali Enigma, M Mr. Milkshake, they all come out and saying, oh man, Eddie Hearn's trying to stop to Fury, De Deontay Wilder versus Fury 7. Yeah, uh, Eddie Hearn and Dylan White are trying to stop Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder 17 trillion. No one wants to see that rematch. I've said it before. Wilder, get rid of Joshua. Get rid of Dylan White, and you're right, you're free. You can do, imagine how much bigger the Fury fight would be if you dust off Dylan White, a UK Don. Yeah, forget forget Joshua for now. He's tied up. But imagine how much bigger the Fury rematch would be if you dust off Dylan White. And you know what makes me laugh the most? What what makes me laugh the most is the Dylan White fight actually pays Wilder more money. Do you understand that? Even a year ago, when Dylan White was sent the offer. He was offering him, what, $5 million? Wilder got paid four. Dylan White was guaranteeing $5 million. Wilder versus Fury only guaranteed him four. Wow. And bearing in mind as well, Wilder wasn't even negotiating. Hearn offered five. I bet he could have probably squeezed six out. Maybe five and a half. An extra 500k on top, but he didn't even want to negotiate. They came out saying, Yeah, hey, man, we want $7 million. Well, it wasn't $7 million in the pot, boss. If it's not there, we can't give it to you. All these goons, googly eyes coming out saying, Yeah, hey, man, Dylan White ducked. Dylan White ducked. Uh, Deontay Wilder, yeah. Dylan White knew the price. Dylan White knew the price. What part of this is the problem with these people? They're proper thick. Making a demand. The fact someone makes a demand. The fact Deontay Wilder demanded $7 million. Doesn't make it any more realistic or any more payable than any other amount. Yeah? Oh, man. If that's the case, then, why doesn't Dylan White... Demand 20 million off of Wilder then and we I can then say oh well Dylan White demanded 20 million off of Wilder and therefore Wilder didn't pay it so Wilder's document makes no damn sense And I have no problem listen if Deontay Wilder had other options if Dylan White was offering him five million dollars And he had somewhere else that he could go To get six or seven no problem this dude turns down five from Dylan to fight Louis old Louise Dinosaurus Ortiz for two. It's mental. This is that there for me is proof of a duck. That there's the the epitome of a duck when someone accepts less money for an alleged easier fight. Dylan White's meant to be easy. Dylan White's meant to be a peasant. Dylan White's meant to be too stiff and all this business too slow. Ortiz is meant to be the killer. Well, if Ortiz is the killer, why did you fight a killer? Why did you take a harder fight for less money? Oh, man, that's because he's a risk taker. No, let's not get twisted. Ortiz is shot to pieces, and Deontay Wilder is shook of Dylan White. Now, people are going to be saying, ah, oh, YB jumped on Dylan White, but I'm like, no. Dylan White, YB's always said this. Handle your business for once. Fight a guy who actually wants to be there. Fight a guy who actually has a bit of a chance. Now, I actually believe I'd give it in Wilder's favour in that sense. I reckon I'd probably say 60-40 in Wilder's favour in terms of the actual outcome of the fight because Dylan White's gas tank is questionable, um, what his speed is questionable, and he's not he can get a bit sloppy sometimes, Dylan White can. Look, just look at, let's look at the Chisora fight, the first one. Even the second one to an extent. He was losing on all the cards. Now, Chisora was a much different fighter, but the, fact, the facts remain the same. Dylan White does have holes in his defence, and we know Wilder's only got to catch you once. 
So I just don't understand that. Why is Wilder turning down more money and making a big hash out of it for an easy, easy, allegedly easier fight? I'll tell you why. Because it's not an easier fight. He likes fighting Fury. He likes fighting old T's. Because Dinosaurus Ortiz has no cardio, has even worse cardio than Dylan White, has no power. And he's shot. Look at his beer belly he had. He had a pregnant granddad belly. But people telling me, don't you Wilder's trying to big up Ortiz? Yeah, man, Ortiz stays in shape. Wow. He looked pregnant. He looked swollen. He looked bloated. He was, listen, Lewis Dinosaur Ortiz looked about, he looked pregnant. He was swollen. He, he, he's what you called puffy. Yeah? Puffy and, and smooth. That's what it's, what's the word? Smooth. Ortiz looked smooth. He had his old, old granddaddy, grandma leather bag looking on skin. And his big smooth belly popping out of his popping out of his snapback. The dude looks old, man. He, he looks like he's half shot as well. And that's you got to bear in mind. Is, let's go a bit of facts. Do you think Christian Hammer would make it 12 rounds with Dylan White? No. But he went 12 rounds with Ortiz. What's Ortiz? This is what makes me laugh. People keep saying, Oh, man, Dylan White hasn't done anything to earn the shot. Well, what's Ortiz done? Ortiz got knocked out and then goes 12 rounds with Christian Hammer. And people want to tell me, what's Dylan White done? Dylan White wants one shot. I promise you, if Wilder knocks out Dylan White, you won't hear me talking about a rematch. But yeah, all of these LDBC goons, he get, Lord Ortiz, Dinosaur Ortiz gets knocked out, then goes 12 rounds with Christian Hammer, which is proof he's shot to pieces, but then they're talking, they're trying to make out a rematch, he's better than Dylan White fight. Give him the fight, knock him out, make the most money. I just, I, really man, I can't understand this logic at all. I can't understand it, but... To the point of this video, I'm glad, to, it's mad, all these ego boxing, the ego idiot, that Muppet, all them man there, Cali Milkshake, all them dudes talking about uh, Dylan White and Eddie Hearn are trying to block the fight. No, they want their opportunity at the belt. Ortiz has already had one. Ortiz didn't even earn the shot. What did Ortiz do to get the shot against Wilder? What did Brazil do to get the shot against Wilder? In fact, scrap that, what did Ortiz do to get two shots at Wilder? What did Bermain Stavern do to get two shots at Wilder? Or one shot, or a rematch at least. The first fight, fine, but the second fight, what did he do? Squat, didn't earn it. Did nothing to earn that fight whatsoever. Just got given it on a plate. And that's why I'm glad Eddie Hearn is going to go down legal, legal methods, because what do we know? Let's call a spade a spade now. The, and that's what frustrates me. Dylan White's not only been number one for 500 days, they've also, they also, all the LDBC lot, and Wilder himself, so he's already been waiting for 500 days, yeah? So we're, start, we're starting at 500, then what else do we know? Number one. They want the Ortiz fight, so that'll be September. Wilder's only fighting twice a year, fact. So this year's, the rest of this year's written off with Ortiz, with Dinosaur Ortiz. Then they want, at least, we look, potentially there could be three Fury fights, because the draw doesn't count as one fight. That, that might as well not have happened. There could be three Fury fights, but at least two. Let's say Wilder wins both of them. That writes off 2020, because we know Wilder fights twice a year. That writes off 2020, yeah? March and September. That, that means the next time Wilder can fight is March 2021, which is what? The best part of two years from now for his next mandatory. You're meant to be fighting. I know it's called the Wilder Boxing Corporation, but you're meant to be fighting a mandatory once per year. One voluntary, one mandatory. This dude's had two shocking mandatories, I believe. Two mandatories in four and a half years. Wow. This goes to show how corrupt they are. But even this, I'm not being funny. Even this, this whole setup of, oh yeah, he's trying to stop the fight. As if that makes me laugh. He's trying to stop people. These, do, these goons are talking about, oh, um, Dylan White and Eddie Hearn are trying to stop the unification fight between Fury and Wilder. What? Oh yeah, they want to unify the lineal belt. There ain't no lineal belt. About they want it. Oh yeah, he wants to unify the ring magazine. Listen, what well, Fury's got no belts, and I'm not being funny. Let's call a spade a spade in this one. Did Fury get a draw with Wilder? Yes, he did. But what did he do outside of that to earn the shot against Wilder? He came off the bench, had done nothing for three years, went life and death with Francesco Pianetta, gets given the shot. How is that possible? On what basis was Fury given the shot? Oh, based on his clout, well, unfortunately, governing bodies are not meant to work on clout. They're meant to work on, what have you done for me lately? Not, oh, you beat Vladimir Klitschko 17 trillion years ago. Who cares about that? Dylan White has been fighting 
not not the best caliber, but he's been trying to get the best fight. In fact, Joseph Parker, Chisora, they're all better than what Fury's been fighting. They're all better than what Ortiz's been fighting. They're all better than what um, uh, Bum Zeal's been fighting. And that's my issue. I wouldn't mind if Wilder was fighting. There's two ways you can do this, Wilder. Either you fight people who are more deserving. Alternatively, you fight people who are offering you more money. This dude wants to do both. He wants to fight people who are offering no money. And also, fight people who ain't done nothing. It's, 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 it's paradoxical. I just don't understand. You can, there's no leg to stand on here. You can't say, oh, he's fighting people who are a bit higher caliber. And you can't say he's fighting people who are paying him more money. Which is a blatant duck. And the way they support this and talk about how, how Hearn's trying to block. You're damn right he's trying to block. And I hope they do take him to court over it as well. And rightly so. And I believe they'll probably win. Because it don't make no sense to me. So if this isn't a duck, what is a duck then? He's accepting less money and fighting people who are less deserving. Explain it. Makes no damn sense to me at all. So let's see how it plays out anyway. Um, the WBC are a slimy organisation. Always want to protect Wilder. No power fury. Out of form. And out of form fury as well. That's why they jumped over that. They jumped on the fury bandwagon thinking he was completely shot. And thinking they could get a leg up. Oh yeah, we can t get an easy win over Fury. That's why they were begging to fight Fury. Because they weren't begging. What we do know is. They weren't begging to fight him in 2015. When he was actually, in my opinion, his best self. His sharpest self. They didn't want no parts of him. How many contracts did Wilder send out for that fight? None. But now they're sending him out like, you know, tomorrow. Because they, they realise Fury ain't the same fighter. Dylan White. He's had a loss before, but he's come back, and he wants it. That's what's most important in this game. He wants it, and Wilder smells sweet to Dylan White. Fact.